you foul, unclean spirits that bound these people up that were abused sexually. I take authority over you right now. And those unclean spirits that got inside of you to defile you, you are leaving right now. You're coming out of them right now. Come out, you perversion. Come out, lust. Come out, sexual defilement. Come out, you strangers. Come out, you cruel things. Get out of them, you consumption that got into them through that. I call those spirits out of you people that got in when you were abused as a child or teenager. I command those bondages and oppression to leave. Manifest yourself and you come out of these people right now. You come out right now. All those unclean spirits that got in through that sexual abuse. Come out. And I break that soul tie between that person and you two. That soul tie is broken. Those chains and bands are broken. Boy, this stuff manifesting in people right now in their chest, their stomach. Come on up out of their stomach and their chest. Come on up out of their stomach and their chest. Get out of these people, you unclean spirits. Get out shame. Get out guilt. Get out condemnation. Get out root of bitterness. Get out resentment, unforgiveness. Get out retaliation. Get out vengeance. Get out. Vengeance is the Lord's. He will repay. Come out anger. Come out rage. Get out of these people anger and rage. Get out. Get out violence. Get out destruction. Go. 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 You are leaving these people. Now, this stuff coming out of your stomach, I feel it. It's almost like a, well, I just feel it's almost like a bunch of worms crawling around your stomach. Uh, here, here's a here's a, a good way to be able to help people. Jesus was touched with the feeling of people's infirmities. He would actually feel in his body That's what right. those people's problem was. And so a lot of times God doesn't even show me what it is. He just lets me feel something in somebody, and I tell that in the left side of your stomach, come out of there. In the right yeah. side of your head, come out of there. And it can be all kind of stuff. So I like that way to do it. Uh, Amen. You know. Now, you're not taking their infirmity. See, some people say, well, I'm going to minister deliverance, and I'm going to let that infirmity come in me, and then I get rid of it. No, you don't do that. No. You don't receive their infirmity. You feel what's in them, but you don't receive their infirmity into your body. That's right. That, that's, that's right. And some of that's being taught out there. There's all kind of crazy stuff out there in the name <laughs> of deliverance. Yes. I mean, every kind of crazy thing. See, if if somebody's truly doing deliverance, there ought to be a change in the people they're trying to help. That's right. If you're not seeing a change and you're going to somebody for deliverance and you're not seeing a change, look, you better sort of look around for another deliverance minister. Amen. So, <clears throat> praise God. All right? All that root of bitterness that got in through those hurts, through any kind of verbal abuse, any verbal or physical abuse, you're getting out of these people too. Come out, you verbal and physical defilement that got into them. You get out of them right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Get out. Turn them loose. Turn them loose.